to another A-level computer science video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. This video will focus on inheritance in object-oriented programs. Inheritance describes one type of relationship that can be modelled between different objects in an object-oriented program. Inheritance is best described as an is a type of relationship. For example, a dog is a type of animal. Inheritance allows a child class, also sometimes referred to as a subclass, to automatically inherit the attributes and methods of its parent class, which is also sometimes referred to as a superclass. This means that our dog and cat classes in the example to the right, as well as having their own attributes and methods, also have access to all of the attributes and methods of the animal class. To create a child class of an existing class, you pass the parent class as a parameter. So here, where I've declared class cat, I've passed animal as a parameter. As all cats will be of type cat, you can preset the parameter type as cat by default and then pass one less attribute. As the cat class inherits the attributes and methods of the parent class animal, we can call animals constructor using super.init. We then handle assigning any extra attributes that only apply to a cat and aren't applied to a general animal object. You can see in the example that the cat object we've created is able to call the string method from animal and the set age method from animal. When creating the constructor in a child class, we can override the parent's constructor and extend the child class with additional attributes and then provide additional methods for these attributes that we create. In this example here, you can see that the dog child class inherits all of the attributes from the animal child class, but we also need an attribute for whether or not the dog needs to wear a muzzle or not. We've then also created the appropriate getters and setters for get muzzle and set muzzle. Polymorphism is the ability of a programming language to process the same instruction differently depending on its class. Where a parent and a child class have a method with the same name, the method in the child class will override or take precedence over the method in the parent class. This is how we were able to previously override the constructor in our dog class. It's also possible to override any of the other methods that we've got. Here in this example, you can see that we're defining a new string method that will only apply to dogs. In the example below, you can see that the cat and animal objects still call the original string method from animal, whereas the dog object calls our new string method that overrides the one in the parent class. When designing objects using inheritance, you need to consider what attributes and methods are common to all objects and make these part of the parent class. This leaves just attributes and methods specific to each child class within those classes themselves. Inheritance is shown as a line with a white triangular head pointing from the child class to the parent class in UML diagrams. Here in this example, you can see that both dog and cat classes point to their parent class, animal. That brings us to the end of this video on inheritance. Join me again soon for a new video where we'll be expanding on the using classes model that we built in the last video to include child classes. Use the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise computer science. And until next time, it's bye for now.